Hello, everybody. Hi, we're back. <laughs> we are wearing the same things and everything as we were in Joanna's one. That's strange. I know. It's literally taking an exact same you time. You may well have so, just watched my vlog. I know, you it know. depends. I don't know which one's going to go up first. Maybe I could do like same day or like maybe. maybe. So um yeah, like we've said on Joanna's vlog, we're going to be recording two different eventing vlogs because this is my first ever BE and this is for Joanna's first ever BE ninety. So we thought we'll split them into two. They're both very big events for us, and so they're going to be long, exciting vlogs. So yeah, splitting into two. So we're away to go and walk the courses. Joanna will be recording the ninety course, and I will be recording the eighty course. And yeah, we're absolutely buzzing. We're over at Hopeton House, which is in Edinburgh. It's about an hour and a bit away from us, um, and the, it's just beautiful here, isn't it? Yeah, this and is so amazing. We've been speaking about eventing together for so long. I'm so excited. This has been like three years in the making. I am absolutely terrified, but I'm quite happy happy that I've got like a whole day of watching Joanna and like eating chips and cheese and things um to enjoy before I have to worry I'm about I'm glad stressing. I'm gonna be chilled out after my wine I know that's quite nice <laughs> yeah I know oh my gosh but Relax. yeah it's been absolutely wetting it down coming here you wouldn't think it was June it was absolutely torrential so yeah it's beautiful here now and I'm actually going to the resort so we're just gonna get on with it see you out there but how absolutely gorgeous is it here so all the way over there is the dressage beside those portaloos and then the show jumping is right over this wall i remember it from joanna's last year so that's very exciting and show jumping warm up and the cross country is all the way over there so we've got a bit of a walk today just as I started this, the winds died down. But yeah, we were just saying on Joanna's vlog, it is very windy this weekend, which is a bit gutting. Um, the gusts are kind of up in the late 30s and 40s. So yeah, be hanging on for dear life. I was just saying, it feels so surreal to be walking like a course for my first ever BE. Like, I know, it's really it's strange. Exciting. We've done a lot of like hunter trials, course yeah. walks and stuff. Good to have a lot of preparation. But yeah, the thought of, Actually walking my first VE course, like for me and not for Joanna, feels really strange. Wild. This is the first time- oh. oh. <laughs> what? This is the first time that you'll experience the, the Hopeton Hill as well, because Claire wasn't with me last year to course walk. No, so. I, I wasn't. Uh. So we're just walking past the warm up, which is a bit scary, but luckily they have colours on them. So the things I thought were 80 are actually 90, so I feel a little bit better. The 80s actually look very, very manageable. Oh, the 90s look a bit scary. <laughs> Fun fact, um, I was at Forrester Seat doing training and um, Cami has a wee tape measure with a, what's it called? And the light, wee light, yeah, the yeah, wee light It's like the laser measure. kind of tape, the yeah, me tape measure. He was measuring <sighs> all measure. the 90s at Forrester Seat because they weren't flagged, so we had to like check. And um, a lot of them are actually like, 85 like 80 yeah. 85 like it's weird well, and then the 80s are probably like, are 70, like 75 like some of them you do look at and you think well that's actually not 80 centimeters is it yeah i know like that's that i think like i don't know if you can even see the little um the wee loggy pile yeah, one that's like, quite small i think about half of them are up to yeah. height which is actually like a really nice like yeah, it's chilling nice. thought to yeah. take when you go around like and we know not that, every single one is going to yeah. be up to height and we know that the show jumping is definitely like smaller than yeah than 80 which is slash funny 90. because actually in be they can have it five up, centimeters yeah. over so yeah they could make it 95 or they could yeah. make it 85 if they wanted strange, to strange eh? anyway we're going to the portal lose before we go on this mission to walk this massive course yeah, let's put, put your head up. I, it is up. Okay, well, go come closer to one of the bits. That's oh, the best I can do. I can't, oh my god, I've lost you. I can see you. I, I think it's just focusing on the, wait, I'm going in a hole. I'm quite um, low down though, I'm on my tiptoes. Oh my god, I'm trying to find a hole. Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> I know. Oh, that that's actually so a very cool. nice jump for you. That's amazing. I, I've been looking at um, the past courses and I've been hoping that that was going to be jump one. That was jump one at the start of last year. Was it? Yeah, but then they changed it to something like chunkier fence. But yeah. Yay. Look what we've spotted on the hill. Joanna's 
jump in that? Who? I don't know. Yellow. Scary. Massive. Oh my actual god. <laughs> So we've just got to jump number three and we've realised we've not done the cross country app for Joanna's new watch that I got her for her birthday. So we're going all the way back to the start box to figure out the optimum time and to to do it on the app and do the minute marker situation. Got a couple of Egypts honestly. So um, the organisers have now uploaded the Hopeton course for tomorrow and Sunday so we didn't really need to run all the way back from jump number three so that's kind of annoying but we figured out how to use the app I think and yeah we're just going to head right back to number three because not much point in going the long way. A wee bit of a lighting change and then a wee log to pop over so that's quite nice. I just hate how it'd be they always put stupid flowers down at the base of the jumps. That kind of annoys me. <laughs> and then there's a wee B element at the other side. Number five for me is this little house, same as Joanna, just smaller. So yeah, feeling alright about that. It's a little chunky, but it's fine. It's actually probably the same chunkiness as yours, it's just a bit shorter. Yeah. Okay, so this is us sharing another fence. So basically I'm doing a 90 for my first one. First B. <laughs> That's actually quite a chunky one. Yeah, it is. But it's quite like fence too. Same sort of vibe. Yeah. And we're in the trees and stuff, so it is a bit Time for the a bit hill. spooky for them sometimes coming in and out of the dark, the light and whatever. But at least we're not doing that. So we've just walked up a very steep hill and this is jump number seven. Let's hope Jade is fitting off. So this is our second combination on the course. We've got an 8A and an 8B. A wee bit of a dog's leg. A wee bit technical, but we'll manage. They're not like super wide fences. So we don't need to like override into the mountain. Hopefully we manage to make the turn, touch wood. And what the heck are all these around? Like, what are these? I feel like there's something strange going on that I'm not aware of. You know that we've been having a wee issue with like coming out of water and keeping our impulsion and stuff like that so I'm really hoping oh, that was scaring me the most. fourth minute marker and we're heading towards jump 14A and 14B. Now 14A and 14B. Get to hell with all these flowers! Oh well they're in the dark hopefully she can't see them. 10, 15 we're two, for, two away from finish which is good. This is quite a nice one although the white kind of scares me but whatever. Second last fit! Woohoo! And um, it's a combination again, third combination on course. We're a bit shielded by the trees here, so you can probably hear me better. But yeah, there's a little bit of an angle, but at least the one coming out seems quite small, which is nice. Look at that view. Oh, will I ever stop going on about it? So yeah, this one's quite a nice one because she'll be tired by now. By now? By then? Touch wood and not jinx it. Okay? And then here's one again. The B element. My gosh, look how much sheep's 
her wool <laughs> is all over the ground here. They must have sheep just running about here. Oh gosh. Look at all the bits flapping around, it's like Halloween. The wind's died down here so much, it's absolutely beautiful. It just reminded me that it is actually summer. And this is fence number 17, the last fence. Woo woo, and there's the finished flags just beyond it. Um, oh my God, I've dreamed about getting a nice photo over this fence for like, okay, I'm gonna say years, but it's actually only been a year because I only knew it existed last year. But I really want a photo over this. Please Jade, please give me a nice photo. I really feel like I'm jinxing it. It's just so pretty. Oh. Like with the brush and stuff, please let me get a photo, please. I'm actually begging you. I've been a good human being for like the majority of my life since I've been able to be a nice person. Like when you're a baby, you can't really be a nice person. You're just a baby. But since I've been like three years old, I've been a good human. Please get me a nice photo over this. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. I'm so glad we came to walk it. it I know, me too. It's really good to see. I know, because I would have been just playing it in my head for ages. But oh, it's just so beautiful! Look at the size of this fence closest to us compared to my 80. Like, my 80 isn't even that small. Like, it looks small there, but, like, it's not. It's got a big brush at the back of it, but look at the it's size of this one! Like, I, I know. And there's horses of Jade's height that are jumping the bigger ones, so, yeah. I need to get a grip. So look how many steps that I have done today. To be fair, I have been wor working and I'm not sure how accurate this is. Why is it not counting up? I've been stepping. Oh, Maybe it's not like Emma that. has mentioned me in her story. I just got a notification on my Apple Watch. I'll go check that out, see if it's anything to be We are walking the show jumping for Joanna tomorrow. The jumps look lovely and it's so nice in here. The grass is cut compared to my first one day event where the grass was like up to my knees. I love it. Um, I know, look how small number one is. Yeah, if you saw what it called. Oh my god. Oh, their know. 90s were like. Whoa. Yeah, they were humongous. They were scary. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I feel alright. Is that in it? That's quite big. Oh, right. Over there. No, that one's right there. No. Okay, because I was actually that cannot be the same thing. So, it's actually only like 5 o'clock and I'm literally done. Like, I feel totally. Hello, babe. Just feeding Belle. stock pin, need to change the numbers in my bib, a um, couple of things like um, clean my boots. So yeah, I've got a few things to do at home but all the stuff at the yard is filled in my car, I'm going to fill a hay net and put it in my trailer and then I'm basically ready to just go in the morning, like give her a brush, whiten her feathers a wee bit and just go. Like she's a pretty touch wood, clean horse, um, so she <laughs> didn't even give her a bath. It's too windy and cold today, she would have been pure freezing. So. Um, yeah, if I did that, I don't know if I would have managed to plot her up. So, um, yeah, actually, not going to be too late here. Usually, uh, like the day before the competition, I'm here till God knows what time. And I, don't know, I know Joanna was here quite late last night. So, yeah, feeling good. That is the car all packed. I've got my saddle, my new saddle, water, hat, body tractor. A thing full of goodies, bridles and stuff are under there. Don't think I need much more, but my checklist, there's my number a bit behind it, but I'll be changing the number in that. But yeah, I think I've got everything. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> um, I honestly haven't felt like this like for so long about a competition. I'm so nervous. Like I was actually doing my makeup and my hands were like shaking. But yeah, it's um, 5.30. And I'm going to go to the yard. Now it's almost 5.30, so like 25 past. And I'm going to go to the yard and um, quickly give her a brush. Fingers crossed, pray for me, her plaits are in. And yeah, and then just put her on the trailer. I think everything else is done. I think so anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to breathe and remember how to breathe. And remember the course and remember my dressage. And everything's just getting a bit, 
a bit much. I'm feeling a bit nervous. Um, yeah, I just can't believe like I've waited for this day for like three and a bit years, and it's finally come. And I'm absolutely pooping myself. <sighs> oh, who would have thought though, like six months ago, that would be here right now? But I feel like I'm gonna cry. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right. Let's just get to the yard and I'll see my friends and. Well, try not to think about it for just now because I've got like four hours before I need to start. So I'm at the yard and I'm running a wee bit late because there's a bit of a faff to get my trailer on. But it's on. Yes, Thomas, it's me. The farm dog. Doesn't expect people to be up at this time, I think. Um, and it's such a beautiful morning but it's meant to start raining. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go and get jaded and hope that my luck isn't getting worse and worse and worse and worse and that her plaits are still in. Pray for me. I think they are. Um, so, like when I drove up I could see them but I just hope they're not all like minging doubt but at the end of the day whatever if they're in they're in. I see you. I see you. Come on. Oh, oh where is she? What am I looking at? I'm looking at her and not the actual camera. Come on girlie. Oh my actual god, she has a roll in them. They are brown. They stayed intact, kind of, though, except from this one's a little bit concerning. I'll just pop that back in there, no one will know. But, oh, they're dirty, Jade, why? I feel proud of myself. Well, that is us already. I've arrived. By the way. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's Jade's main all finished. I just done her four look. Oh, Bahuki. Just done our four lock, but we need to thread when we get there. Jade, you're not looking very pretty for the camera. Smile. I what a grumpy I'm mare right now. now. You said I'm going to bed and I want to go now. Well, let's go now then. Bloody lovely. I knew that was coming. <laughs> she kept going. Oh, I know. Say hello to the vlog. Where are you? Okay. Oh, Adam's here. We've just stopped and got some fuel. And, and we're really on our way. It's starting to like get really sick. I know I've all felt like that really since the very beginning, but I'm starting to really feel it just because we're on our way and there's no getting out of it now. So that is us just about pulling up to Hopeton now. Claire's feeling a little bit nervous, but not as per usual. <laughs> no, like this is the most nervous I've been, like butterfly nervous, you know what I mean? Like really yeah. like, like shaky. You and stuff. get a calming cookie, don't you? Mm -hmm, I'm going to. I'm really nervous. Here's the guy to direct us. No guy, same guy as yesterday. Same guy as yesterday. I think he slept Here we go. Week. Okay, so at the show jumping now. Claire is storming around. It's a different course than yesterday, so I need to actually properly learn it. And by the way, it's freezing. <laughs> I'm so so cold today. Um, but yeah, one to two seems to be a little bit of a dog's leg. Um, which I always seem to forget mid-course, but if it's at the start of the course, then it should be fine. Um, because it's quite easy to remember one and two. Claire is storming my head trying to learn the rest of this just now. Okay, so top stocks over there is one again, but facing a different direction. Two is FOMO. Then you come round here and get this nice spread, number three. Four is another dog's leg sort of thing. Five is this one here, so you turn left and come back on yourself. Over to six. So then we've got seven, which is a double, and then you round the outskirts over there and finish on the red one there. So yeah, it seems to be quite a nice course. Um, and I definitely think Claire's not said anything about like the height or like the show jumping at all really. So I think she'll be feeling like it's quite wee um, in comparison to yesterday's 90. And then we also stayed to watch like bits of the novice and that. So yeah, it all seems like really like wee just now. So definitely nothing that Jay can't manage at all. Claire's been doing really good at the show jumping, um, going away to like wee local things and that. So yeah, she'll definitely boss this course, no problem. First things first. Got the goods, breakfast roll. It's always handy being like half an hour early before you need to actually start getting 
clear ready or anything so I get my food and we get coffee now as well. It's getting hot in here so take off all your clothes. I am getting so hot I'm gonna take my clothes off. What do you think of that? Does that make you fancy me a lot? Yeah, okay. <laughs> and Jade's almost ready. New saddle vibes. I know, it's so oh, pretty. Stunning. Although it's not a dress, our saddle it's so very comfortable. So. Claire's a big copycat. Yeah, I am. That is also my saddle, everybody. Everybody. <laughs> uh, look, these are my gloves. Uh huh. From like four years ago that were all mouldy and I washed them. How good are they? Look? Very good. Thanks. I know, they actually look fab. I know. It's exciting. Clear. Pose for the camera. There we go. Woo! Oh, the prettiest girl you in the world. An umbrella. Apart from my pony. Yeah. <laughs> well Fine. Done. Half. Of the prettiest girl in the world. <laughs> so it's just started raining. Oh my god, I look like a little Eskimo. JD, stand still. Yeah, um, this isn't great for the 12th of June. What on earth is going on? Okay, we're on. It's not very nice. I managed to get weather like this for my first event. I don't know. Oh, what on earth, eh? We were looking at the forecast as well yesterday and I, it looked that I was going to have way worse weather than Claire. I suppose they did wind wise, but like, what on earth is going on? If the rain goes off, it would be fine. I'm freezing because it's windy and like, I'm wet. Yeah, this is really bad for mid, mid June. Not great. Although Jade just doesn't seem fussed. So, no, no, let's just get you over and start warming up. Oh, look, a big blondie over there. This is a bit of an indication on how slippy it has gotten with the rain. <laughs> so I think Claire's not very happy with Jay just now. Um, she just seems to be a little bit um, tense, not very supple. I mean, it is wet as well and it's a bit of a hilly warm up and stuff. Um, but sometimes you just need to take what they're like on the day and just get over it, get, get around the dressage and then get onto the fun stuff. I mean, we all know it's frustrating when you know your horse can go well and then doesn't, but... Yeah, um, as I was saying, sometimes it's frustrating if you know your horse can go well and then then they they don't on the day. Um, I'm a prime example of that, really. Um, I bet nobody believes that Blondie can actually go well, but I swear she can. Um, so yeah, I think Claire's just experiencing for the first time like a big bee warm-up and like a bit of a tent. So yeah, um, Claire, oh my god, horrendous. Um, Claire's a bit disappointed with her warm-up. Um, I think she's obviously wanting her first BE to go like really well from the get-go of course, but um, I mean, it definitely doesn't look too bad at all and um, you never know, once you get into the whiteboards they can completely change it all up as well.
Oh, what a shame so he's went over to the horse. So how are you feeling now? Tressa's rolling this. Mm. Good tense. She warmed up horrendously to be honest. Like really horrendously. Yeah. Nothing like force or see where she was going. Like really small. Yeah. She was kind of like what the hell is going on? There was horses like snooping yeah. left right side. Although what I was just saying to Claire was the way she warmed up you can see from the videos was so much more tense than she was in the arena. Like you done really well to get her like into a nice place. I know. And you never know with the judge, like they can be quite lenient. So fingers crossed you definitely have a lenient judge and it's not even the score that I'm worried about, it's more like for myself, just like <sighs> Yeah. But you yeah, horses are just different on different days. You yeah. just get that, don't you? Now you can get onto the fun stuff. And the sun's coming out! Yeah, that was just a bit <laughs> that was just a bit of a bad atmosphere with like the pouring rain when you were warming up and everything. Like, Definitely, I think we'll be able to start enjoying ourselves more. The skies are a bit bluer, and Jane seems a lot happier now as well. Did a big, big wee afterwards as well. So. Yeah, exactly. You never know what's going on with them, really, do you? That's us over at the show jumping warm up. I think we've got about 20 minutes or so to go. Yeah, but that it breaks like 10 minutes or something. She said about five. Oh, really? That's good. Even better. Oh, shit. Sure. Yeah. It's a really nice big warm up in comparison. <laughs> Can't speak over that. Claire, it's a really nice big warm up in comparison to Forrester Sea. Eh? Like, that's good. Like, it's a really nice show jumping warm up here. At Hope, Hope Town. Um, and then, yeah, it's a lovely big arena down there as well. Right, so that's her started warming up. Well, she's obviously can't ring now, so she's been warming up a little while. Really nice, spacious warm up here. It is on a little bit of a hill, but here we go. Good girl, JD. Rapid change for cross country. Yep. We've got our new stockinger colours on. Stun. 
How would you feel, Claire? Tighten myself. <laughs> oh, getting ready for cross country is always so hectic because it's like your full outfit change and everything. But we're getting there, and then I think she's on in about 10 minutes. You don't seem too nervous. She definitely is. She's loving life. Bloody wait for her to start her cross country and listening on the tar noise is so so exciting. Um, yeah, finally your first B. <gasps> so exciting. Just wait to go up to the last couple of jumps because Claire absolutely loves the last jump. Um, she wants a really good photo over that. So I'm hoping there's a photographer there as well. But if not, then I will catch the moment. Um, we've got a couple of friends dotted about over the course as well. Um, and yeah. Jade is such, such a cool pony um, and she's been doing amazing at the Hunter Trials and the ODE she had a few weeks ago Yeah, no doubt she'll be brilliant, be really, really good <sighs> So this is where I went wrong yesterday I went straight over this one and just kept heading straight and as you can see the B elements in the distance in the distance to the left so I just came straight here and didn't pay attention at all and there it is Ah, I've got a nice position here under this tree to see this big roll top um, and I can see her coming in the distance um, with a wee A, A and B, my nemesis. And then I will run over to the water and try and get that and see if she gets on with that because that's one of the things she was most nervous of uh, because that forced her to see Jade can lose impulsion in the water and then she'd be a bit nervous for the boat coming out of it just to make sure that she's like definitely got impulsion in that so so excited to see how she rides here. Um, I think she'll do absolutely amazing. I definitely think she's like got the right mindset and she will like ride her through this. So, ah, so exciting. I can see them all coming like so far in the distance. And I'm like, is that her? Is that her? And it's not. Hurry up. Can't wait. Okay, I just heard that they're gonna start clear next. Um, and I've changed my mind about where I'm gonna stand. There's a couple of chunky fences over here and I think I'll be able to see the last bit of water from here as well. So, Okay, we're moving. I think I'll get better videos for her here. Oh my god, so nervous she's next! Nervous wee. Oh my gosh, she's coming, she's coming. I heard her. Claire Calvin, still always Jade. <laughs> they never see her name right. Okay, panic, panic, panic. Um, oh my god, see when the tide on goes quiet. And we're ready. It's freaking me out. Okay, that's a refusal of nine, but that's not clear. Way clear. Oh, hurry up, hurry up. Say something on the damn tannoy.
my god, she gave me a bit of the eye. <laughs> gave me a bit of the eye when she was cantering. She looked at me and was like. <laughs> Missed your rustic roll dropped at one. Yes! And get what the hell is, Emma me. Well, under our temperature roll, Chester Galdi. Trotting as they approach the seven. Brilliant, clear, brilliant. I was just chatting right to everyone, absolutely loving life because JD was amazing. So I'm on little walk off duties and that flare strip is working a treat. Oh, is that difficult, girly? Oh, she's so tired, but she's so so good. Well done, babes. Right, let's get you organized, JD. <laughs> Best girl ever, JD. This is only a baby horse. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Amazing. So, were you listening to the minute mark? Yeah. Yeah. Airbnb, say hello. Say hello. Say hello. Oh, it's my boy. Oh, it's my boy. He's a happy boy, he's so sleepy. He's had an early day today as well, hasn't he? Uh, hey. He's a sleepy boy. Not used to getting up at this time. Mom, so sleepy. Like <laughs> um, we are just sitting watching some show jumping, some of the 90s. The weather does not know what it's doing with itself, I swear. Like, one minute it's absolute peanut down, the next it's freezing, and then the next it's sunny, and you think, oh my gosh, you're right, it actually is June. You want to take your jacket off, but I think Adam's getting a bit fed up. I think he wants to go home. But you know what? He doesn't get to because today's my day. Hey, here we don't want to go home. He's very happy. Oh, look at those feet. But yeah, I think we're going to sit and watch a wee bit of show jumping, get some uh, brownies again because we're fatties, and um, then just go head home because uh, Jade will just be standing there absolutely pooped. And I am as well. It's been a couple of very intense days with very early starts. Um, and my nerves are absolutely shot. So, um, yeah. all the time. And how cute is her GS Equestrian rug? This is the first time she's had it on because, like, it's just been a bit cold other times or too hot for a rug. But yeah, it's dead cute. I absolutely love it. She looks so smart. Professional. You're a professional pony. Um, yeah, so it's home time. The weather, like I've said, is just all over the place. It's absolutely Baltic, so just gonna load her up and head home. I know, we've had the good parts of the day though, eh? like cross country was nice and warm. Yeah, 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 it was nice on the cross country. So that is us. A way to leave our first event, eh? Our first BE. How do you feel? It was so fun, Mum. I had a great time. Well, oh, thank you. Thanks for making everything fun and all my dreams come true. 
Can you settle down? Settle down. <laughs> She's so special. I actually can't believe that I've managed to finish my first PE today. Like, I just had the best day ever. I just can't believe it. It's really overwhelming. Um, I came over that finish line, like, proper bawling, crying. Just so happy. It's the best feeling ever, eh? I loved it as well, Mum, even though you didn't need to kick me so much and shout, go, 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 all the time. Oh, sorry. Didn't want you to stop. I wasn't going, I was always flying. Oh well, that's important then. You're a good, clever baby horse, aren't you? Why are you so clever, a baby horse? I'm a very clever baby horse. No, she's not having any, but she's knackered and wants to go home. <laughs> but well done. Well done, I love you. Oh, anyway. very long weekend for us. I know, Herbie is like the star of the show right now. He's just sitting there like... He's the third moody mare. Including me. <laughs> but yeah, very long weekend for us, but amazing and lots of dreams achieved and yeah it was just amazing wasn't it yeah i'm absolutely knackered though like i can hardly keep my eyes open yeah definitely dodgy driving but we're almost home thank God. goodbye my little event pony slash horse because she's actually quite big look at her just grazing she's very happy to be back oh she's so amazing i just love her look at all the bees on the plants actually as well oh she's just so that is me home now after a, such a busy weekend and a very long day um, and a strange day weather wise so I feel a bit wiped out like I was cold and I'm roasting and wet and I'm soaked through it my skin and dress ash so yeah I'll just give you a wee rundown of the day um, we got there and it was cold like really cold it's June anyway um, we got all tacked up and stuff. As soon as we got tacked up, the heavens literally opened. It was torrential, like really torrential. On video, it probably doesn't even look as bad as it was, but it was really, really bad. And um, we just got absolutely soaked, like right through our show jacket, right through our like breeches. Like they were all spotted with rain. And then suddenly I looked at them, they were like all dark, like just soaked. And then the wind, it was windy, so it was just freezing. So I think that like automatically put Jade in a bit of a bad mood. She was like, like tucking her head all up in tents. And do you know what I mean? Um, getting all rigid in the neck so I was like trying to trot her and the warm up's quite slopey and things and it was quite busy I had quite a lot of people like running into me and things like that like I'd be doing a circle and trying to like relax and stuff and someone would like cut me off and I was just like oh, annoying like I know everyone's trying to do their own thing and that but it is annoying and um, really like slopey in the warm up so like she was just tottering about it. like she doesn't do too well with like trotting around or like on hills and stuff because She's just like not too balanced, she's still a baby, you know what I mean? So it's fine. Um, I was just getting irritated though before um, she was having some sassy moments and things because she was getting a bit stressed um, before going into the dressage. Um, but we just went in and had a crack. I was getting a bit in my head um, and I keep forget, like, kept forgetting like this is my first BE and this is like her first like event in dressage test. Like get over it, do you know what I mean? It's not the end of the world if it doesn't go well. <laughs> So like, obviously you've seen already the dressage test in the vlog. Um, it wasn't like good to be, in my in my opinion, it wasn't great. Like um, she can go so sweetly and I know it's totally different when you put them in the whiteboards and stuff, but um, yeah. But we got a 37.8, I think it actually was. I kept thinking it was 37.5, but I think it's 37.8. Um, let's just put the sheet here. 37.8, yeah. And um, she got quite a lot of sevens and sixes, seven, seven, six. And then we got a three for picking up the wrong lead and canter, which is so annoying because she barely ever does that anymore. But I think it's just like me getting in my head again and like not riding properly. Um, sixes, um, 5.5, 6.5, 7, 7, uh, 5 and a half. That, and because that was second canter with a bit of uh, hairy at points. And then um, a seven for our halt. So I'm happy with that. Really happy with that. Um, Someone said, a lovely, attractive horse that now needs to work through the back, over the back, into a consistent frame with more acceptance of the contact to improve the suppleness to the bit. I think that's what it says. Which I totally agree with. Um, we like get some really lovely sessions where she's doing that and then some it's not. It's just baby horses for you. And new atmospheres, new environments, me being stressed. So yeah, I'm really happy with that score. So we went into the show jumping. I was very nervous for the show jumping. Um, 
the warm up was actually decent. We had a good warm up. Well, I feel like we had quite a nice warm up. And then we went in, and she was grand. Like she was really scared of that um, uh, the judges box thing. And the tan, like the tan, was like, oh, it was Kel Rush Jade and Claire Cobb. And she was like, what? How do you know my name? Um, so yeah, and there was like uh, all around the whole outside. There were people in vans and stuff. She was like, oh. Um, but when she got jumping, she was good. Um, we had a couple of like dodgy strides, but I don't know how to stride her. Like I can't can like I just let her jump. Do you know what I mean? Um, we took the last two fences down, like pole on each. Um, loads of people were getting poles though, like loads of them. Like there was a couple of dog legs and stuff, so people were getting a bit funny lines and whatever. So yeah, the last two fences. Um, she kept the double up, which I am really impressed by because I honestly like never. We never keep combinations up. So um. And she always takes poles, like, well, not always, but, like, a lot of the time she does. Like, she's just finding her feet and things, and she's just giving it her best, so can't be mad at that. I'm so happy with her. As long as there's no stops, I'm buzzing. And show jumping, knock every fence down, I'm not even going to be upset about it, as long as you don't stop at them. And then a quick change, and we were off to the cross country. <laughs> So we went in the warm up, she was absolutely ace, like she literally jumped everything, she just flew it. And then we went off into the start box and she was good, she just sat there. The woman said like, oh someone's very chilled out. I was like, yeah, I think she just doesn't know what's coming, you know what I mean? So we're in the start box and we canter to fence one, woo, again, cantering. And um, she jumped it really nicely. And then I don't, well I think I do know what happened, so in between fence one and two, um, you can the wall there's a big brick wall that runs up the hill like runs right inside the fence too and that right over that wall is everything else so we're off in the field on our own everything else the show jump and the show jump warm up all the cars the food trucks like everything is over there and um she was like what is over that well wall and she just like got wiggly and and nappy for like a good like five seconds probably maybe a wee bit more than that yeah, i don't know and in between the fences it wasn't like a stop at the fence it was just what the hell like where am i sort of thing and i was like no so i um put my brave pants on and actually rode which is impressive because sometimes i just let them like just do what they need to do and i thought momentarily in my head i'll just circle and then i thought Frick, no i'm not circling I'm not. She can jump this from a really this really crappy trot if she wants to. So I got her moving forward. I was like, get on, get on, get on, and she just flopped over it. And I was so proud of her for that because she's so honest. She was like, right, mum, fine, I'll try. I can do this from a standstill sort of thing. Um, so I was like, right, if we're over that. Let's go. So we just oh, someone's blown bubbles in the gardens next door. So there's bubbles just flew across my uh, like windscreen. So yeah, after that we like tiny issue we had like we didn't get any penalties for it like it wasn't pre like we weren't presented she just had a wee nappy moment just cost us a wee bit of time but it, like I'm not fussed um just let her take an environment but not let her away with it do you know what I mean um so forward we went uh, up the hill and over fence three um which I was nervous for I thought that was quite a big one so I like rode it a bit and over rode it and she just chipped in a bit and just got a bit of a funky jump um and then after that um it was quite a steep downhill like it actually is really steep i didn't realize how steep it was and it'd been absolutely peeing with rain earlier on in the day so um so i just trotted really slowly down that hill so we were slow like i don't care at all what time we were at like i literally didn't don't care like i just wanted to get around so we're just trotting i was speaking to the fence i was just like hello and then <laughs> then we went up and over the first combination she jumped that lovely and then we went along and jumped a wee house which is in this um, lovely and then we went along and jumped another one and then we went up the hill every fence I was like get on go get on come on do you know what I mean using my voice so much and she really responds to it so um went up the hill and yeah she just flew like she did a wee com we had a we jumped at the top of the hill then a combination then a big roll top I don't even know how she jumped that like I can't even remember in my head like how she jumped them I know like majority of them were just dodgy strides like we were just flying like at jumps but she was having a great time she was just figuring her feet out doing the, doing what she wanted to do I wasn't telling her what to do except from jump I was just like go 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 and she was like okay like this is fine but she definitely like I felt her she was cantering the whole way like she didn't slow up at all like she didn't get tired and the hills there are steep but um, yeah, the water jump that I was really worried about, bossed it, she was amazing, um, over the first one, even though I got a bit of a dodgy line because I went round a tree, I thought like after the jump before I had to go round the tree, but then it, I should have been like at the other side of the tree to get the line, so I had to kind of go 
anyway jumped that fine um through the water i was like come on we're going we're going um and i <laughs> just like i can remember it a wee bit now like i like she actually kind of jumped into the water and she was like bounding through it because she was like what i usually just draw it through this um so yeah i got her cantering through the water because there's a jump i think it was like six strides out or something of the water like it was a wee bit further but i still have it in my head that like jumping out of water like she's lost her momentum she's distracted whatever she jumped that really well so i was like yes good girl and then we had um the uh the shark's teeth jumped them fine um then a combination jumped that really nicely and then a big like table thing which she clawed her leg off of well it probably wasn't as bad as, like on the video it doesn't actually look as bad as I thought it was but she just jumped it and like left a leg behind and I was like oh, okay but she was just like well we're still going I was like okay um and then the final combination she jumped really nicely she jumped dodgily in and really nice out so happy with that and then the final fence she went flying I didn't see straight she didn't see straight and I was like we're going I was gutted because I really wanted like I don't think there's a photographer there anyway um pretty sure there wasn't but I really wanted a photo over that fence but if there was a photographer there the photo will be horrendous I got catapulted in uh, outer space not even joking I was like in the air not even nowhere she didn't take a long one she took a short one but like pinged it like all four legs came up sort of thing um and I literally thought I could fall off over this jump and that would just be so embarrassing <laughs> and really unlucky um yeah so then we went over the final finish line clear and like <laughs> um I actually just went like that I just like burst out crying I was like oh my god like she's so good and this is just I like has been such a distant dream for me for so long and I'm just so happy that I did it um and she's just so cracking and I had so much fun and like it just feel like such a huge sense of achievement um and finally um done it like finally done my first BE and um it wasn't horrendous <laughs> I did fail badly I got a clear cross country which is just like not something I expected not even yesterday before I jumped like like when I walked the course did I expect to go clear like even though like the course is a nice course and that I just like didn't I just thought like it's just not gonna happen like we're not gonna go clear but like as long as we have like a good experience and things and um I was like I, my goal next time is to ride like neater so I was just like go go do you know what I mean like flapping around and like <laughs> going crazy I need to keep my hands down and just like stop flapping but um but also, like, we got around. It doesn't have to be pretty. People only see you for a fleeting second and then you're gone. So, oh, I'm just so happy that I did it. And we've done it. And this is the start of our event and career. Yeah, touch wood. <laughs> Nothing goes wrong. But, um, yeah. I think you guys all know how much this means to me. It just means huge amounts. So, yeah. Buzzing. So, I hope you guys like the... Um, the venting weekend vlogs Joanna's and mine I think Joanna's is going to be up first since she was first and then mine's will be up after so by the end of the week these will be live and I just really hope that you enjoy the vlogs I love it I love a venting I had a great time and I hope you guys can feel that through me <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy the vlog and we'll see you next time